All right, so you want to own a bike. We're going to be telling you what it's like owning a motorcycle, what it's like driving, what the costs are like, and basically what the overall experience of owning a motorcycle is. We got a 2017 Kawasaki Ninja 650 and a 2006 GSXR 600. So guys, this is my GSXR 600. I've had this bike for about, I would say two months or so. Actually, that's a lie. Probably only about a month. Um, really enjoy it. I'm coming off a Ninja 250, so quite an upgrade. And I'm gonna briefly explain what it's like on a 600. And then I'll let my buddy over here, who's pretty new to riding, explain what it's like being on a 650. This is his first bike ever, first motorcycle ever. He does have some dirt bike experience, but first motorcycle ever. So uh, what's your thoughts on like riding and, and bike life, basically? It's something else, man. man. It, makes, it, it feel makes you feel a little something. something. It makes you feel a little something, something, that's for sure. sure. Yeah, yeah. Is it scary? No. 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 Is it fun? Oh, it's, it's oh, fucking it's a blast. blast. Yeah, yeah. So what's the best part about owning a bike, you think? I should I should that. That. <laughs> Holy smoke, bro. This guy, you're making it so much harder, bro. So we're going to be basically talk about getting your license. How to get your motorcycle license. So I'll let my buddy here explain. He just got his license probably not too long ago. How long has it been? Since I got Since it? I got it? Yeah. About, like three, like weeks, three weeks, maybe two weeks. Three weeks, two weeks. Yeah, that's not too bad. So was the course hard? No. No, not at all. No, and what exactly did they make you do? They just they basically just, just taught you how to ride one. They pretended that you've never seen it before. And then taught you how to ride it, taught you how to use the clutch and shit. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Was the actual M1 or like beginner license hard, like the paper test? No, no, no. no. Just a G1. So that's your beginners basically. Graduating the course, what did you think? Was it was it hard or? You just asked. You just asked. <laughs> fuck, bro. <laughs> fuck. Oh, I mean, that's not what I meant, though. Okay, okay. So, what's the cost of owning a motorcycle? That's like a big what if when your people are looking to buying and getting into bikes. Generally, the cost, we're Canadian, generally the cost is probably going to be around, I would say, 5,000. Um, 5,000 Canadian, 5,000 US. It depends. It all depends on what bike you're starting with and how deep you want to get into it. Um, the cost of licensing is probably going to be a couple hundred. Um, getting your bike, that can be a couple thousand depending on your bike. What was What's like a rough price you paid for this bike? Uh, I, I paid 6500 yeah, 6500 6, This bike was a rough price. It is older, but it is a 600 It's around like five grand. But the killer for bikes is insurance, guys. Especially us being young, they don't like to insure young riders. 220 a month. This bike, they wouldn't even insure me, guys. It They make it nearly impossible to insure a 600 for a young people. So that's just to keep in mind. But generally, the cost of driving and owning a bike, it's going to be it's gonna be added a couple hundred on top of your normal bills, guys. Um, generally, buying a bike, depending on used or brand new, you're probably looking at around four to 5000 for a decent bike. But granted, when you buy it, you have to safety it. You have to do a bunch of stuff to put it on the road as legal. All right, so gear. Gear is very important. We are not wearing gear. We live maybe five minutes from here. So I don't want to hear any excuses from you guys. But basically, my my two gear items that I will never, ever, ever go on a bike ride without is the helmet and the gloves. You know what? Shoes, I don't have to wear my nice Alpine Stars. I can just throw on some beaters. But my helmet, always wear a helmet. If you crack your head, you're gonna be dead. What's your like gear situation, Justin? I just yeah, I just, helmet yeah, and gloves. That's gloves. right. Man. Helmet and gloves. I like to wear a jacket, um, but on a nice warm day like this, it's tough to wear a jacket because you're sweating. So you really want to get a nice ventilate jacket. This is where we go back into cost because motorcycle gear is so expensive. Good jackets probably around three to five hundred US. Just for instance, these are my gloves here. Just some protective on the knuckle um they're not any fancy name brand or anything just got them from a local motorcycle store this is my friend's gloves here you can see his have added wrist protection more than mine it really depends on the style of riding you're going for and what type of protection you want so helmet guys this is an agv k6s very good helmet 
very very lightweight i tried it on it's amazing for helmets you really want to go with something that fits you well you want to go with something that fits your head shape agvs are really nice uh, i had a joe rocket before it was all right but it's on the lower price range so if you're a beginner maybe that one's better for you if you don't have such a big budget and also you want to get a tinted visor as well um, i really like the tinted visors the dark i got um a nice tint on mine as well i'll see if i can show you guys but yeah it's pretty sick always get a tinted visor for the sun because the sun is bright and you don't want to glare the cost of a helmet it's going to be a couple hundred i think i already talked about it but definitely a couple hundred maybe even thousands depending on what type of helmet you're going for all right so you guys may be thinking like manuel how are you guys like talking how how am i talking to this guy right now it is because of the cardo neos on the side of the helmets here basically bluetooth communicators that we can basically talk to each other enjoyable purchases i've ever made if you're getting into biking you really especially with friends especially with friends Damn right. Damn right. you really want to get a cardo like any cardo any cena any motorcycle communication system because it makes the ride just so much enjoyable even if you're not riding with people at least you get to listen to music right so another great point of the cardos is when you're driving we can be like separated let's say i make the stoplight he doesn't we can still hear each other but also when you're riding as big groups and you're having a little bit of fun you know you're cracking up the throttle a little bit and you're getting a little spicy and talking talking with your like your friends while riding it's like if you've ever been in like an xbox chat or a ps it sounds it sounds like a group call guys it's crazy it. <laughs> it's so much fun so yeah definitely got to get a freaking communication system when like as one of your first purchases next up we're going to be talking about maintenance big factor of biking very important as well maintenance probably looking at a couple hundred if not a couple thousand a month depending on your condition of your bike the year it is maintenance generally when you first get a bike you always want to give it an oil change who knows how long that previous owner has had that oil in you want to check the air filter tires are a big thing chain make sure all that stuff's good battery all that type of stuff right guys you want to add anything okay okay all right so yeah for maintenance for a general price probably looking 100 to 500 depending on what you're doing to your bike simple oil change maybe a couple hundred depending on if you do it yourself or bring it to a dealer we're going to be talking about modifications mods to your bike very very big like endless endless capabilities with mods let's talk about some mods that as a beginner rider you've only had this bike for a little bit right but what type of mods are you already looking to do to it oh, I've already got already got exhaust on everybody. Everybody. that is stock <laughs> <laughs> this is my buddy's bike he's already got it only had it for a couple months he already wants to do what like an exhaust you want to do maybe a tune just a bunch of the different mods right so that's like an endless money pit you can throw thousands of dollars at these bikes so easily so that's just another avenue of owning a motorcycle all right so a lot of people probably think if you don't have never driven a bike is it hard to ride a motorcycle <laughs> what the <laughs> that? so a lot of people who don't drive motorcycles probably think is it hard to actually drive a motorcycle and the answer is maybe maybe it is maybe it isn't some people will catch on to it faster some people won't Unlike my friend, it's pretty awful at riding. Oh! <laughs> I am pretty good. Generally, the key is you got to stay focused. You got to always be observant. And just got to ride smart. Like, no popping wheelies. Stay and stay <laughs> driving, driving the speed, the speed limit. limit. Always drive the speed limit. Obviously, this bike barely touches the speed limit. But, um... um always under, always right? Under, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Always under, though. Always yeah. under. So yeah, is it actually hard to ride a motorcycle? Not really. You guys can learn pretty fairly easy. Um, I'll go over a video if you want me to over like the controls and how to actually ride a motorcycle. If you guys want, just drop a comment, let me know. But it's not really that hard, especially if you do like a course that will teach you. I highly recommend it. It's definitely very good. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, 
and subscribe comment down below what you want me to make next whether it's like a how to ride a motorcycle or what it's like riding a motorcycle or an actual video of us riding on the street and maybe giving you like an in ride review of the bikes let me know if you want another review of each bike individually we can definitely do that as well but i hope you guys got some sort of knowledge i'll catch you on the next one peace